Bradenton.com slash insurance. For more than a month now, Eight on Your Side has investigated Willowbrook. That's a Bradenton condominium built by KB Home. It's riddled with mold, leaks, and collapsing balconies. We've discovered construction defects and told you stories of homeowners who say shoddy construction has made their homes worthless. Homeowners in 11 other neighborhoods have called us with similar complaints. So today we went back to where this all started, the building plans for Willowbrook. Eight on Your Side, Shannon Bankin wanted to know... Why did these condos pass county inspections? The idea It's a rare opportunity to see inside the walls of a finished home. But when an expert contractor ripped out the drywall of this Willowbrook condo, he showed us this. Moldy boards, some walls not nailed down, and hurricane straps missing. So that, In my opinion, as a general contractor, and from the codes that I know, and from the way things are done, this is just a major, major, major problem. How could all this possibly get by a county inspector whose job it is to make sure builders do what they're supposed to? We asked this of C.J. Dupree, Manatee County building official, weeks ago. I don't know that anything was missed by inspections. Nothing's been verified that anything was missed by an inspector. So we decided to pull the county building plans ourselves and find out how this condo was intended to be built. We found that the type of hurricane straps KB's engineer called for, SP2 strapping, just doesn't exist in the unit we toured. All the 2 by 4s top and bottom, are supposed to have a strap in here, a hurricane strap, especially at this elevation. This is the third floor. If you have a wind on the ground floor of 100, it'd probably be 120 up here. Yet this building inspection we found showed no deficiencies. It passed with flying colors. So we went to the top looking for answers. The Manatee County's administrator said no one from the county would make any statement about KB Home. However, a supervisor called back to say he doesn't believe an inspector would have approved the building without the proper straps. So again, we ask, where are they? All this leaves us with big questions for the county. How many of the Willowbrook condos are without these straps, and what's the penalty if they're not there? And most importantly, what can be done about it now? So you mentioned that these particular kind of straps. Let me ask you, are there any hurricane straps on the unit that you happen to tour? The only hurricane straps we saw were hurricane straps on the outside of the building and some straps on the inside, but the inspector that we toured with said he was absolutely certain that the ones called for in this plan, the ones that keep the roof on, just weren't there. All right, Shannon Bankett, thank you very much for continuing to follow the story. Mm -hmm.